Hey everybody, it's Michelle from Florida Keys Birding and today we're going to be talking about a very special bird. We're going to be talking about the bald eagle. So every year I look forward to seeing this eagle pair return to the Florida Keys. Um, I have photos here of a male and female pair that come every year. They come in the fall, stay for the winter, and then they leave in the spring. This pair can usually be found perched high up on an electric uh, telephone pole around mile marker 116 in the same place every single year on the 18 mile stretch of highway called the Overseas Highway that separates Homestead from Key Largo. It's so exciting every time I see them return and I always wait for them. So a group of eagles has many collective names, including an airy, a convocation, a jubilee, a soar, S-O-A-R, like to soar, <laughs> not like a sore on the skin, <laughs> that'd be gross, um, and a tower of eagles. So, um, and on the contrary to popular belief, they aren't really bald, even though you probably already knew that. <laughs> they get the name from an old meaning of the word bald due to their white hair. I hope you're enjoying the corny jokes. <laughs> they live from 20 to 30 years in the wild, and eagles can fly as high as 10,000 feet. Wow. That is really, really high. That's crazy. So their general habitat for the eagle includes uh, tall, mature, coniferous trees and deciduous trees, or you can find them up high on electric or telephone poles, dry open uplands, and anywhere that there is open water for fishing. Bald eagles are tolerant of human activity when feeding, and they may congregate also around fish processing plants, uh, dumps, and, and below dams where fish congregate. So the behavior of bald eagles is very interesting. They actually do have a lot of interesting behaviors that they do. For one, they're very powerful flyers, soaring, gliding, and flapping over long distances. In courtship displays, the male and the female will fly high, high, high up into the sky, lock talons, and cartwheel down together, breaking off at the very last instant before crashing to the ground. I hear it's a really interesting display. I've never seen it, but I hear it's really beautiful. Bald eagles will often harass birds also, including ospreys and other eagles to steal their food and can do the same to even river or sea otters. Bald eagles walk on the ground as well in an awkward rocking type of, you know, walk and are also capable of floating. I did not know this. This is interesting. A bald eagle will actually use its wings to row over water that's too deep for wading. So even though you'll often find them alone and solitary, bald eagles can also congregate by the scores or even in the hundreds at communal roosts and feeding sites in the winter. These groups can be quite loud and boisterous <laughs> with birds jostling for position and bickering over prey. So during breeding season, you may see bald eagles being territorial, defending their territory from intruders, including raptors, uh, other raptors, ravens, coyotes, and foxes. We don't have foxes or coyotes here in the Keys, um, but I have seen birds harass other raptors so it's like smaller birds like blackbirds and crows and stuff so I'm sure that this does happen um, when feeding at carcasses eagles may push black and turkey vultures out of the way and other species including ravens coyotes bobcats and dogs sometimes will hold their own which is interesting even though they are much smaller I I would think that they would fall to prey to the eagle and be scared, but apparently not. 
But don't get it wrong, bald eagles are often harassed and chased by their fellow raptors and by songbirds, including blackbirds, crows, and flycatchers. Like I said, I have seen birds do this to various types of raptors. So when it comes to food, the eagle's diet consists of many kinds of food, such as fish, including salmon, herring, catfish, and others. They also eat birds, reptiles, amphibians, invertebrates, such as crabs, and other kinds of mammals like rabbits or muskrats. So they are not picky. They take their prey live, fresh, or as carry-on, which means they will eat dead stuff. <laughs> Bald eagles also sometimes will gorge, ingesting a large amount of food and digesting it over several days. So they can survive um, with fasting for many days, even for weeks, if they get a good big meal. So with nesting, they typically nest in a forested area adjacent to like a big body of water, staying away from heavily developed areas when possible. They will nest in trees except in regions where they only, uh, where only uh, a cliff or ground sites are available. In the south, they may nest in deciduous trees, mangroves, and cacti or cactus whichever you say it. <laughs> they are not built um, at the top of trees like an osprey nest would be. They're usually built below the crown of the tree. These nests are some of the largest nests of all the bird nests, measuring five to six feet in diameter. Wow, that is a big nest. <laughs> Males and females will help to gather nesting material, like some, sometimes like grass, moss, lichen, woody material, downy feathers, uh, a sprig of greenery, or corn stalks. They can take up to three months to build a nest, and it can be reused every year. So they usually do one brood a year with one to three eggs, Incubation is 34 to 36 weeks and nesting period 56 to 98 days. The egg is usually dull white and usually without any markings. So when it comes to conservation, it's low on the list. Um, just like I had explained in my other video about the peregrine falcon, once they banned um, the use of DDT, which was a pesticide threat to birds, um, their numbers rebounded over time and they're not on the endangered species list anymore. Um, even though, you know, regardless of whatnot, I still don't see these birds a lot. Um, you know, so I mean, we still have to be careful and make sure we, we do things to prevent um, that happening again to raptors because raptors are a very important um, animal to our environment. They help control the population and this one, like the vultures, help clean up dead animals and things like that. So um, beautiful, majestic bird, the bald eagle. I hope you learned a little bit more about this bird and enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a like and subscribe for more content. Thanks!